Well, hello, good morning. Happy Saturday morning cartoons. Welcome, kids. I'm Paul Pate. It is Saturday, April 13th. Sorry I'm late. I got a later than usual start. I'm even late to my uh, late start. But here we are. So I got to get my my um, what you would call it set up here. My board. Man, I've had a busy couple weeks. Hang on a sec. Be right back. Hey, it's Jim. Good morning, Jim. Hold on one moment. Yeah, man, I got to turn on some tunes here. Hang on a sec. Let's go here. Oh, um, yeah, right here. <sighs> so I missed last week. And uh, it's been two weeks since I've been on here, and uh, it seems like a lot has gone down in those two weeks. That might be a little loud. Huh? There. Like that. You know, it's one of those things where uh, I went on vacation and then I came back and I had a busy week at work. And uh, so it just seems like is the illusion that more time has passed than really has. Hey, it's Miriam, all the way from the Middle East, Israel. Welcome, Miriam. Good to see you. Miriam's been busy creating so many things that are so neat. I love the miniature stuff, Miriam. Bus, little houses, and then we. I really enjoyed your talk about the inner critic the other day, too. That was great. All right. Let me go to the phone. It's not just a bad thing, the inner critic. It can be, it can be a good thing, too. Fascinating, right? you got to understand the inner critic, artist people. Okay, I gotta get on here. Sorry. This is. I promise I'll draw here pretty soon.
does it do that? Ah, oh, yes. Why does it do that feedback thing? Drives me crazy. I had it muted and everything. gonna work this is nuts what is going wrong here now Miriam was having this issue the other day I saw it on our stream I got the the um, let me go over here and try to set it up I got it on my earbuds and everything. decided the settings was different okay yeah I had the phone muted dude it was there's a setting up in there that just suddenly changed all right so here's now this is where I set my board I didn't get my board This is really a quality programming here, quality YouTube programming. You're seeing right here, folks. All right. I'm going to put that there. Move me a little bit this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miriam sent the gremlins at me. Jim's going all Karen. It happens, hey, you know. Here, here at the Paul Pate Saturday Morning Cartoons, we don't value customers. <laughs> okay, let's get down to business.
Clip Studio. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm working on yet another cover, you guys. This is ridiculous. This will be the fourth one. But I think I got him. I want to try for a good one here. So the idea for this cover, by the way, I did put Jim's. I feel blessed. You're at least wearing pants. Well, yeah. Well, it's under protest. Um. Let's see if I can straighten this mug out right there. <laughs> okay. So, uh, maybe I'll do it like this. So, turn that down. That is right. So, what the deal is, is I did three covers and I posted them online and um, asked everybody what one they liked. We can say that we've seen them all. Yeah. And it was no help because everybody picked like evenly across the three. So that was kind of funny to me, but also kind of distressing. Hey, good morning, Chris. Hello there. Where's the yes? Um, so anyway, um, what I did was I just, I was like, okay, let me go back and look at what we got. Um, you know, for the previous two. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. And I really like this one. It's more iconic and it's got the splash of color. And I'm going to do the splash of color again. Uh, Imperian Vol reminded me in one of his comments to, you know, throw in the splash of color. So I think I'm going to Sort of, I like this cover here. This this has a splash of color, but it's, it doesn't stand out. It's kind of muted. And uh, so, anyway, but between these three covers, I want to kind of keep the same sort of, um, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, motif or something. So, I think my covers that I was working on were getting a little complex. So I want to go get simplified here. So and actually I want to work today in portrait format. Which I usually don't do, but give us a try. So um, so that's where we're at. So I sketched up this bad devil and I'm kind of liking it. Um I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to leave all this space out here white. And then, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, you see, I started thinking, and I'll just continue here. So, make sure I'm on the right layer. It appears I am. So, I'm enjoying uh, not working on this every day. You know, I'm thinking about it all the time. Still have some work to do on it, some cleanup, but and obviously the cover and the back, the back cover and you know stuff like that. But I just haven't been really obsessing about it or anything like that, which has been kind of nice. This is all going to be filled in with black. Hmm. 
Chris says, I'll be grading tasks and coloring in the breaks. Tomorrow I need to run errands from early morning, so I won't be online. Oh, no stream, no Sunday morning stream. It's interesting how we get kind of like, a, <clears throat> you know, we get used to our schedules. I was, I was uh, kind of missing everything last last week, you know. Um, I mean, I had a great time. We went to Nashville, and uh, but you know, it was different. Uh, broke up the routine, and so you, you do. I think you. Get, I don't know, I get a certain level of comfort in the routine, I guess. I think I'm less like that than some people are. But... All right, there he is. Let's draw the face here. What are we at as far as we just do this? So teaching in uh, Mexico must be like teaching in the U.S., where the teachers work, work, you know, crazy hours and <laughs> don't really get paid enough for it. In my opinion, that's my opinion. What more important job could you have? I mean, you know, a comic book artist is probably more important, but <laughs> not. Sunday streams, I would need to wake up at 4.30 a.m. in order to stream before Miriam does. Let's cancel my stream. Yeah, then you got to pick a time where your friends aren't streaming. <laughs> I understand, Chris. I understand. I was actually really excited last week. To uh, join because I was on vacation, I was going to get on Chris Christopher Runciman's stream, and uh, there you go. There's only one solution, Chris. Um, I was going to get on Christopher Runciman's stream, and then uh, he was sick, and the day that we planned to, and so that was a bummer. I was really looking forward to that. So we gotta kind of reschedule because it just doesn't work out. I can't do it during the day most of the time because I got work. I think it would look bad at work if I'm during work hours. I'm on YouTube. Well, <laughs> I will get on there and watch sometimes. I take a break from work and watch Christopher Ronson every day at two two p.m my time here we go well this speak of the devil here's Chris He says, boy, did I get here at the right time. <laughs> oh, Maxie's here. I didn't see him. Hmm. Chris 
Chris says, I was going to stream with Chris for two weeks, I had to cancel training course at school. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. So. I get it. Obligation or not. All right. So yeah, we're still Christopher. I'm still working. I'm doing another. I'm doing another. Uh, another cover. Big news, Paul. I got my proof in. Oh, oh, excellent. Do you want to come on here and uh, show us? <laughs> Give us a preview. When you find a deal on your favorite oh, thing look, in it's the a commercial on YouTube, and order it. Does that technically count? As online shopping. Online shopping. With the app. Participating in That's amazing, Chris. It's fun, isn't it? Get that proof in, right? I mean, you've, you've done that lots before, but there's something about it. Hope everything looks good and it's ready to go. Do you want me to send you the link, Christopher? Let me do that. Here we go. Now I better hurry up and get some drawing done here. <laughs> All right, I'll watch out for you. part is now I just fill in all this black. Boom. So I just erase the pencils here. Wherever they are. Fill in this black field. I was getting ready to call it data. Black data. I mean it is. Hey, good morning. Tori from Ireland. I wish I could do the Irish accent, but I can't. I can't do accents. <laughs> Let me turn off the jazz here. And uh, bring in Add to State. There we go. Well, good morning, good sir. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we got it. Hello. Like Hello. Oh, that's just paper. Yeah. I don't know if that's what you, what was your intention or not. Are you ready? Ready? 
Yeah, yeah, let's see it. So this is this is the first quick sneak peek I'm showing here because I was going to do a stream on my my uh, channel this morning about this. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting we're getting exclusive here. Good yeah. morning, Tina. It's been a while since we've seen you. I hope all is well. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting ready to. Uh, Christopher got a. Uh, let's see some likes for Paul Payne. Christopher got uh, his proof in, and uh, he's getting ready to show it off. So let me – how do I make you the big one here? Hold on. No, that's on uh, – yeah, there you go. That's – but just switch it. Yes, yeah, so you grab – yeah. Bingo. There we go. Okay. And so this is my 31st book, but it's my first time going online. Mm -hmm. and it's my first time doing a hardcover. Okay. So and it's all because of your uh, advice, Paul. And uh, Paul and, and Jim and I had a meeting, and it went uh, about how to go about this process, and it was really helpful. So this is what I got in yesterday. Dun, dun, dun. See, it says not for resale, not for resale. So oh, okay. this look, it's this thick. Oh, it's hardcover. Yeah. And... Uh, and then, ooh, and then right. the back has, uh, yeah, so it came together fairly, fairly well. So, um, and then uh, when you open it inside, it's got uh, the first page is, so the whole idea is that when you see it like this and you pull it off the shelf and then you go, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> And then when you open it up, you go, oh, okay. <laughs> so here's the how. Like those people on the, reading the manga. Like yeah. you, can, you can see them at the bookstore, right? Open the manga, and the, yeah, open it on the left side, and then they're like, wait, what? We started at the end. This is backwards. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. So, so the idea is that when you open it up and then you get the first page, it orientates you. Okay. So on this side of each page is the original art. And right on this, at this part of the page is the page itself, the comic page. Yep. Underneath is the suggestion. And immediately underneath is what I was thinking when I did it. That's awesome. I love so it. Then, let me turn on that. There we go. So right off the hop, it looks like that. Beautiful. So you get the page, the suggestion, the description of how I went about it, and then the original art on the side. Now, when you, I have a question on the original art. Um, is it, it's not all like, it's not all, you're just taking like a little, because the snapshot of it, or are you? Just a, just a piece of it. Okay, right. All right. Just a piece of it each time. So, like, yeah. So that you can see the zipatone and the whatnot. Yeah. Uh, like this page that I did from Chris uh, Chris's suggestion. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's I drew it in purple pencil. And then there's the finished art. So. Yeah. Wow. Now it's a little blurry because the camera I'm using. Yeah. Switch cameras, Christopher. Yeah, I know it's a little unfair because I got a preview of it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I'd be frustrated looking at this because it's hard to, for some reason, the camera seems like it's focusing on something else. Well, that's because I was using the wrong camera. Oh. So there's a page. That's really nice. So, um, thanks, Tori. Um, thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Mary. Um, oh, thanks, Dang, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So it's uh, 80 pages. Yeah, that's a beautiful book. So that's, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And uh, what is yeah. the dimensions there of that book? Six by, six by nine. Okay. Six and a quarter by nine and a quarter. So it's just, so it's just slightly smaller than a, uh, a little bit bigger than mine. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Slightly smaller than a standard comic book. Let me, let me grab one of yours. Yeah, it's uh, here's a. Hold on. Here's a regular comic. Hold on, I'll pull up. So here's a regular comic trade, okay? Okay. And then here's mine. It's just that that yeah. Tiny bit smaller. Nice. So we're just uh, hold on. I'll grab yours, Paul, so you can get scale. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I have a? Do you have a library list for your book, Paul? I've got people that I keep showing it to and trying to get them to make orders online. <laughs> Oh, you have a what? A laundry? There's, there's. I have a, a list of people that are like, hey, can take this for two days and then go order it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's. Yeah. there's well, there's, it's it, it's weird because sales. I I still make sales on them. So. Well, I keep telling people to buy them. Yeah, thank. You. It's Josh Kimball. <laughs> it's where he says typical men measuring up against each other. Oh boy. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Look at the muscles. <laughs> well, I'm going to lose every time to Chris. Well, that's that's not what that was. That was just giving Paul a sense of scale. <laughs> so, so yeah. So the and those are all me. <laughs> so that's I gotta sit down, so I gotta just sit down this morning and set up the uh, release date and. Uh, and it's okay. 20, 22 dollars American um, for an eighty-page hardcover. That's not half bad. Um, so we're really happy about the price points for for the cost of it. Because the place that I was I was I was working with a publisher last year, and their price points would have been like forty forty dollars for a soft cover, and like forget it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to set up the release date uh, for it to come out on Amazon and it can be shipped internationally, uh, world worldwide. It, it'll be carried all branches of Amazon in the world. And then, uh, which uh, I think is normal. I think that's what they do for everything. But um, I just have to pick the date and we can start selling, um, doing pre orders. I just, uh, yeah. Uh, Terry says, yeah, it'll come in Braille. Will it? He's asking if it will come in Braille. I don't know, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I, think they do comic books in Braille. I think they kind of. I, I think you should. That's a really great idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, my brother in law is, is, is blind and, and, uh, it could be really fun to do stuff in Braille for him. So, yeah, yeah so this morning, um, thanks, Chris. Thanks, Tina. Um, uh, I'll be doing, uh, we'll be setting up the date, uh, but we're aiming for it to be available by the end of the month and uh, and for, uh, I mean, for people to have it by the end of the month type of thing. Uh, we're just going to set up the date for release for like next week, maybe. Lori's going to decide that for me. And <laughs> how, how quickly can you, I mean, what are you looking at? Like when's the soonest you could do it today? Oh, okay. You just got to send them a note saying it's approved. I just got to send in and they can have it, you know, available within 72 hours. But, um, you know, and I'm going to put in an order today for a bunch of copies for conventions and things like that. Okay. Um, but, uh, it's, it's not going to be like, it's a lot, there's so much in here, um, that, uh, I think it'll keep people going for a while. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, if you're going to have, uh, somebody read it to you, Tori, Teresa. put set aside some time. It's dense. It's <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's it, one page, one pagers are very dense. Yeah. Yeah. 81 page stories with the original art on the side. And then the the suggestions, and then what my thinking was. So it's like you get four different things to enjoy. Yeah, to every page, out. right? And yeah. but I mean, your, your pages are dense in that. What would you say the average number of frames you have is? I've never thought of that, Paul. 
I've honestly goodness never considered that. I mean, some are just one like this, two, but three. yeah. One, two, three. Um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, like something like eight, nine frames is, two, one. is not unusual, right? You have one there, but then how, look how many how many word bubbles there are inside that one. You know, every every page has so much going on. One. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah yeah it's definitely a you know it's not like a quick read there's we have my page 13 you can skip that one i think that's page 13. <laughs> he knows what page it is he... <laughs> <laughs> and there's jim up there too the crazy old guy yeah. and there's gary's characters oh yeah that's right that's right yep yeah. And if so, I remember correctly, I ratted Jim out or something like that. And then there's Dee Dee's Neymar. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. Did you go out and buy it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do some really silly, uh, some really silly uh, promotions for it with like the goose honking. Get off and buy the book. You know? <laughs> yeah. So now you got to get out and, and uh, promote it, you know, and. Uh, yeah. So any direct any people, chance direct I can, people to Amazon, right, Chris? Yeah, yeah. And so any chance I can, I'm gonna um, chat with whoever wants to chat about it, and you know right. about the process of it. So it's while it's my, like I said before, I've, I've done thirty regular comics. Is that me? Am I buzzing? I think so. Turn my radio off. I turn my speaker off. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine again. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Wouldn't me. So, so um, while I'd, I've done all these single issue books and released them regionally, mm -hmm. I've never gone international before. This is my first international project. And this is the first internet available project. And this is the first, you know, yeah. um, all of the above. And so we've got some things I'm going to have. So um, if people, if I find out people have ordered books, I'll mail them like an extra print and, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'll do drawings for people and stuff like that. And um, what's fun about this is that uh, uh, Tina says, don't forget to include that international shipping cost. Oh, you betcha. Um, well, I'm in Canada. Everything's international. Uh, but there's, because it's got this white page at the beginning uh -huh. and it's a page that I can draw on for people when they pick them up in person. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. But so mm -hmm. but the, the Amazon thing is it's print on demand. So if you order, yeah, so if you order it online, you're not going to get that. So if people show me that they've got one online, like send me a picture of them, hold it or whatever, then I'll do a drawing for them. Nice. You know, because yeah. I don't want them to be left out. And then I've got uh, some of the pages that are in here. Let's see if I can find one. Like this, the uh, Universal Family. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, I've got a print of this page. So if somebody. Right. I don't know, wants to hang it in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got a, I did a poster that was going to kind of accompany my book. I look forward to yeah. getting prints of that. But so, again, if it's a print on demand, how do you give people your poster? Right, like like you said, it's only only in person. And I, what I do is I keep a stash of, of books. I yeah. keep a stash, you know. For me, mine is pretty cheap, so I'll buy ten, or ten of them or so, and then. Well, let's uh, talk about how good these books are. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how good your books are. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to figure out, well, that's what I was, I want to do that, figure out how to do that. I, you know, it's so awkward for me. What's that? It's uncomfortable talking about, you know, hey, look at my book and da, da, da. But I want to do that better this time. I want to actually put in some effort in promoting the book, you know, like you said, go around well, and talk. How did, how did Gary put it? Gary, Gary says that he, uh, he works like a dog, you know, creating the book and making it and promoting it and then hides as soon as it's available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I completely get that. Yeah, you know, right. Like I, I, yeah, I completely get that. Uh, here, here, here. You, know, you don't have to make my head so big. Yeah, it's ridiculous, <laughs> studio. <laughs> it's such a tender thing. Can we uh, do this here? Hold on. Let's see. Switch it. Put your picture up. Hold on. No worries. Now you're. That's because my camera's off to the left. Here. Can, you, can you middle? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Getting the camera. Right here. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I want to do that this time. You know, and plus I've got now now once this one comes out, you go to my author page and you'll see three three books and from my understanding is is people are more willing to buy a book if there's three or more Multi yeah. Yeah. yeah multiples of it right yeah because then you're you know uh, and it's only seven these are these are only seven bucks you know so i'm i'm hoping that uh that people will well, buy it I, i'm trying to encourage anybody i can to buy it i think yeah I think thank you yeah, I, mean, I owe you commission so really really like them so uh you know i want to I, I want to uh read the third book I mean, i've been having a hard time the whole time you're posting your your pages and doing your drawing live is that there's this part of me it's like i don't want to know <laughs> <laughs> i want to be surprised that when i read the book yeah i didn't send you uh i i did, did I, you want me to send you the pdf no no i'll i'll okay. I'll, I'll get the book okay i'll get the book yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of. Oh. That'd be a dense PDF, buddy. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I, I look forward to to getting it out there and letting it run. You know, and seeing what happens. So, but I gotta I gotta get this cover done. I this handsome guy in the back of your book. Who's this? <laughs> Never looks so good, huh? <laughs> um, the uh, the whole. Uh, process of getting to this point for me has been um it, it, it feels really good because it's sort of like where we've been going for a long time but for stepping out into the broader world out there rather than just london in area yeah um and to step out with you know with this thing right yeah just feels really good it feels like uh yeah okay this is a good way to enter the larger arena yeah yeah it'll be great yeah yeah if i could have got uh things together with that company that we were working with last year like i'm so far behind on this because the every this the publisher i was working with they're like we can we can do this feature for you but it'll cost this much money we can do this for you but it'll cost this much money it's like yeah i could do all of that myself what do you what do you want what yeah we're here for distribution you know so so they still send me emails <laughs> <laughs> wondering what the update is on the project well you'll see soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah you all send them a quiet quitting them <laughs> well i didn't quite quit them i told them off and then they still keep sending me stuff because they don't communicate with each other oh boy yeah yeah it sounds so you know it's unfortunate that you have to to uh, assimilate with a Borg, but the which is an Amazon. Yeah. But we love what, Amazon. Huh? We love Amazon. <laughs> Do not let the demographics go against you, Paul. <laughs> Do not let the, or not the demographics, the algorithms. Yeah, but what they offer is you know. I mean, I've uh, never seen quality this good before. Honestly, I mean, like the right. quality of the printing is killing me. Yeah, and I mean, there's probably not a human involved in the whole thing <laughs> besides you. You know, it's all a computer. <laughs> neat, neat, neat. Zzz, zzz. Yeah, what people don't realize is that I'm a robot and there's three of me, and that's how I get things done. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> that's how i can do uh live streams and guest appearances at the same time and uh core right. a robot <laughs> i know that's not true because you weren't feeling good last week so no i'm still in recovery but uh yeah. you know um because i have a reduced immune system i got a i got a cold and it takes me out for two weeks 
Yeah. That's that's why last year I did 358 pages. Um, for, <laughs> well, that's for this, right? And then I still did the three projects that I worked on in the mornings. So, mm. um, but that's my afternoon output. And I would have hit 365 if uh, if we didn't have Christmas. <laughs> Slacker. The, the whole family came over for Christmas, and I'm immediately susceptible to whatever one of my grandkids might have. Yeah, yeah. And one of them is going to have something. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> it never fails. So that's where this this comes from, Easter. Right, right. So, well, I'm yeah. glad you're feeling uh, uh, you're on the mend anyway. So. Yeah, we're trying. I'm really happy. Uh, Chris says leap year this year. There we go. Yeah, you get an extra day. <laughs> 366. This year we're doing Christmas online. <laughs> it's a great mug, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's appropriate, isn't it? Yep. Perfect. Lori thinks it's funny that because of my gimpy finger, I still can't put all my hand my hand in it. <laughs> it's, it's super size. You still can't fit all your fingers in there. Right? It's, massive. it's massive. <laughs> it's about three coffees in one in one mug. <laughs> so I say I only drink one coffee a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, look at the size of that mug you drink. Yeah. Yeah. Look at and the size. I run it through the Keurig twice. It's a big cup of coffee. So. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about um, the fact that you've come through on your third book. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I've been. If, if people haven't had a chance to read the Detective, Detective Perez books yet, folks, I really, I really do recommend it. Thank one you. Of the, one of the greatest, you know, blessings, I think, if <laughs> it's a serious cup of coffee. One only. That's all I'm allowed. <laughs> <laughs> As a could commander it to a pot, maybe. Um, <laughs> but um, the one blessing I really cannot express above anything else with having started to go online and on YouTube has to be um, having had the opportunity to meet yourself. Well, everybody that's here right now really is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, Tori, Tori Miner on Amazon as well. If you look up Detective Perez, Paul Pate, you can, on Amazon, you can find them. So, yep. And uh, find it doesn't glare. There it is. Yeah. That's book two. No, nope, Tina doesn't play around. Yeah, she's serious. <laughs> I, I just have mine in the morning and get on with yeah. it. She carries it around all day like a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so Christopher, uh, I was going to, or I started on, uh, you know, like a little uh, couple of pages of, about myself at the very end of the book, you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm struggling writing that because I don't want to get, I want people to read it and enjoy it, but I don't want it to get too in depth, you know, to, yeah. so it's so, balance of, you know, what so this is. is um, this is like a sales thing, what they got on mine. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a sales thing mm -hmm. that they did for, for mine there. And it's a, uh, Hold on, I'll switch cameras again. Let me do the. <clears throat> Let's see. You could read it before. Oh. There we go. But maybe there's a page prompted by you. Maybe the next page he does will be. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Chris says, Tina, you're one of the best moderators. You really are good. Really are good, yeah. That's what I got to figure out this year as moderators. Well, what I was going to say though, Chris, was um, that as I'm writing my little, you know, story at the end there, or I don't know what you call it, blurb, that's what I keep calling it. Uh, the big, the big difference between this book for me and the uh, the previous two is the community online. Really. Yeah. Community, you know, that has kept me company, that has kept me, <laughs> is, is giving me, giving me help. You know, I got yeah. online one day. I was working on a page, and Adam Lore and Philip um, Chandler 
we got online and, <laughs> and you know worked on different angles and everything and uh, it was a whole lot of fun just you know stuff like that doing things like that is really <laughs> yeah here we go <laughs> Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. So somebody's reading your volume one right now. Oh, that's, that's what I like. Yeah. Right Excellent. Okay. All right. Hold on. So, Guest appearance. Hey, there he is, Corbin. Hey, everybody. Hey, what's up, boys? What's everybody doing today? Anybody want to dance? He's looking at himself right there on my other monitor. Oh. Um, Oh, so yeah, you can get my books on the Kindle. Oh, that's where he's down the reading, Tori, in Ireland. Yeah, so I hope the reading experience is good, Tori. Um, that was a challenge that, uh, that I've had as I'm setting this up for Kindle is that because of the way that the book is laid out, mm -hmm. you'd have to scan it this way. Oh yeah, and, like, and then turn your device, and, and if you put as soon as you put your device like that, it's gonna go sideways. Yeah. But aside from that, you know. Um. So another thing I was just started thinking about this morning too is, um, I might do like a six hundred plus page omnibus hardcover of all three books. Which that'd, that'd be fun. Be but that's a six hundred page hardcover. <laughs> I asked Paul. Here, Paul, make me smaller. Put your put your Depicto Perez cover up. Um, I asked Paul when we uh, were first talking about what our projects were. I asked Paul, so how many how many pages are in your books? He goes, Oh, about a hundred. <laughs> I don't remember. And uh, Paul doesn't have a book less than two hundred pages. He has one comic book. Like a one single issue, and then his 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 three trades are two hundred plus now. <laughs> or is the new one two hundred? Yeah, two hundred right on the nose. About a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's so many talented people and so many great people and so much uh, so many open and and uh, uh, thoughtful minded and considerate people and I. Uh, I can't get over it. It's uh, it's. I think it's the most joy that, uh, that I, I I find about being online at all. So, you know, and uh, that's the challenge really is to to uh, to find like-minded creators. And I've had a, a an issue at times about that locally, where I am. Yeah, because I don't I don't fit in the superhero people, and I don't fit into the indie alternative crowd people. Um, but then I go online and I start meeting these fantastic people that are in <laughs> maybe it's a two four covers each. <laughs> um, so I meet these fantastic people online that are in Ireland, and Israel, and Mexico, and you know yeah. uh, the other side of the continent, and and it's just and yet at the same time there's. Um, a strong feeling of um, understanding of each other and appreciation of what each other are doing that, that, uh, you know, yeah. I, I really appreciate that uh, from everybody. So, yeah, 100%. So, yeah so I hope it's not going to be, I hope it won't be too dear to send wherever, you know, Terry strange is joined. Good morning, Terry. Okay. From the other speaking of the other side of the continent, is that right? Yeah. What's, still still? What's that, Christopher? You guys, I mean, you guys have inspired me so much. Yeah, same. Same. My dream is to make under bunnies into a graphic novel. I would love to see that. Anything that we can do to help out, please let us know. Yeah. I am. I just helped uh, a friend put together his first book, um, and it'll be coming out from uh, RP. This is this is the comic company. I'll switch. This is the comic company that I started right here in 2015. Okay. That's our logo. RP. Oh, okay. Ransom and Press. Ransom and Press, and uh, so this is the 
the 75th book that uh, is under Munson and Press. And number 74 is my buddy Tim's book, Frog Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Frog Bucket, a bucket of frogs. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's about buckets being grabbed and thrown in a frog and, uh, and thrown into a bucket and they got to get out of there. But it has all these wonderful um, uh, moments where he's looking back on on growing up <clears throat> and bitch and being taught the lessons of the of the pond by his dad and so it's like good stuff here put your put your picture back up oh okay sorry yes so, sir. yes so there's uh there's some fun in doing that that's about uh I don't know how many uh terry says i love frogs we all love this book because it's chock a block full of them it's all about frogs and i did a page uh, for his book so inside the back cover i did the lettering in that for him and for, and uh and and tristan uh, my partner at rp she uh she did the formatting for him and uh so that it can go to print but inside the back cover i got a page that i did about this little kid um catching frogs and his mom says you know tommy what are you doing is nothing <laughs> I'll show it to you. Hold up. Um, but I'm really excited about Tim's project too, and and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. How that goes. It's a, it's exciting to to be able to work with other people and to help them do their project. So, um, Tori, if there's anything we can do to help, just let us know. Because Paul's in Michigan, I'm in uh, London, Ontario, Canada, and uh, and Jim's in uh, California. So. Um, you know, and the three of us sat down together and talked about putting out our next project. And uh, and it was basically Jim and I picking Paul's brain going, Paul, how do you do it? <laughs> what do you do, Paul? Well, yeah, it's always good to, you know, if somebody's figured it out, why mm -hmm. why learn, try to do it the hard way, you know, just, just. Uh, if you don't have to, right? Yeah. Um, cool. says, Chris needs a message, Dee Dee. I'm sure she would mind promoting his book. Or he can just show up to her Monday and Wednesday morning streams. I've been having a hard time getting to people's streams lately because of uh, the projects that I'm working on. Um, like uh, I've done all the, the lettering and graphic design for for Tim's book, and that was taking up some you know some of my time in the mornings. And I was doing I've been doing some other projects for some other people, and. Uh, you know, so I've been missing a lot of streams live. I try to catch them. I, I always try to catch them after the fact. But uh, yeah, I've been missing them live, and I find that disappointing. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Tina says Canada. Yeah, London, Ontario, Canada. Canada, go. All right. So here, I'll show you the page that's going to be at the back of his book. Let me switch the view. There it is. So this is Frog Bucket that uh, I did for Tim. Wow. And uh, <laughs> this is a one-page story that I did that he'd suggested. And uh, it says, my mom says, go out and keep yourself aku, aku, occupied. So it got me a whole bunch of frogs in this bucket. What are you doing out there, Toby? Nothing. Because <laughs> that's how kids are. Yeah. <laughs> and she she pro prob probably won't let me keep my frogs now. And the frog says, hello. <laughs> uh, um, what? Come on, kid. Let us out. Ah, and he kicks the bucket over. Mommy. Leg it, boys. The liberation is at hand. And they're all like it, like it, like it, like it. Like it's get out of here. What's going on out there, Toby? <laughs> Ah, be free, run, you maniacs, run! <laughs> so, that's, so that's the one page that I did for uh, for Tim's book. That's awesome. Nine panels. Nine there, panels. Yeah, these. There's a lot. Of, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah well, it's going to be in black and white, so I switched it to. Oh, uh, okay, I see. To a black and white tone, but. Uh, oh, we got a lot in the chat here. Tori says, "Wow, guys, that's just an amazing offer. Got many, many more images to do for when I get close enough." 
I will take you up on that. Yeah, absolutely, Tori. <laughs> yeah, well, anything, anything that you need any help with at all, Tori, let me know. If, if, if there's any any way that we can encourage each other to to produce whatever it is that we're producing, then, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, why not? Why would people not share whatever knowledge and development that they had? Uh, Terry says, London seems like a cool place. I've met multiple people over the years in there. It's a pretty chill place. We're pretty, we're a pretty relaxed bunch. I think that, uh, but London's rapidly changing and developing into a, a big city. We're almost at half a million now. Oh, wow. That is a pretty good yeah. size. Miriam says, sorry, I'm taking video, so I don't participate a lot, but I'm hearing you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, we're you. seeing you, Miriam. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, many, many more images to do first when I get close. I mean, I'll take you up on that. Yeah, anything anything we can do to help. And, and if it's a case of you're doing a thousand drawings and you got to figure out how to format those, Tori, we can even help you figure out how to format those into pages, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, you know, yeah, it's, I, 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 I don't know if you're like me, but, you know, there's a certain anxiety over the unknown. So, just rest assured, proceed with confidence that you will get there. It'll work. We can get it into a book. You know, we'll help you get there if you need. It. So, I talked about uh, fear of the unknown yesterday in my stream. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, because I've done a page. Uh, I'm doing this story about Yolanda right now. Uh, Devin okay. Rex from. Do you know Devin's yeah. stuff? What? So, yeah, 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 I've watched her before. Yep. So I did this page from a suggestion from Cat and Paste of, uh, I'll show you. So the suggestion is a lady who brings, a lady is arrested on a cruise ship because she brings a jelly thing in her purse and her husband denies knowing about it. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, so I, I drew this, this cruise ship. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I did this whole silly page for that that I released. And then the first page is, is actually this. And so it's, I tried to establish this mundane setting where it's, this is, so this is yesterday's page about, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to search the whole ship. So he's brought something on that might contravene our policies, you know, no, yeah. no cruise ship is going to shut down because somebody brought something in their purse. Unless it's a B O M B, so, um, and then I talked about the next page, and so what I did yesterday in my stream was this: I, uh, I, I talked about how many different directions that we could go with the same story. Yeah, and uh, and so that includes, um, you know, I bought a jelly plate, but it melted into a giant blob something I picked up from a vendor. Everything tastes like strawberries. Um, a jelly egg for uh, a kraken, right? Mm -hmm. And then as, as the, the egg starts hatching, the ship's attacked by a giant kraken, a time paradox story, a dream or a nightmare story, like all these different takes on the same sequel to this first, first piece. Is this typical and, uh, how you do every page like this? Because I, you know, I don't, I've never do I lay it all out like this? No, I did that for people in the stream. Oh, okay, then, gotcha. Okay, I got you. You can set up a choose your own adventure. But so when you typically you just kind of do this in your head. Oh yeah, this is okay. I wrote this down recently. This is uh, how I I tend to work. Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever the idea is, and then I'll scan it and do the digital finishes on it. Right? right, like if I'm doing any gradation or, or stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then I'll do the coloring or effects digitally, and then put the text and the title on, and make sure you put your name on things. Folks. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my jazz. Nice. Oh, I'm a giant. My head's a giant. Get out of there, head. So, <clears throat> brainstorming, brainstorming page of Paul Pate. Uh, I want to see how the cruise ends. Yeah, so I'm finishing. I just sat down to do that now. And uh, and so I'm going to do two versions today. One is 
the version that I talked about with people on my stream, and that is that as she's getting arrested, she's like, it's just, it's a jelly plate that she's tried to smuggle in her purse so she could work in her, in her, in her cruise ship. Yeah. Cabin. And, uh, and so she's being arrested. She's like, it's just for making art. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other option was, uh, it's a Cthulhu monster she got in her purse. It's a what? A lobster? It's a Cthulian baby or something like that, like a HP Lovecraft thing. <laughs> so the, the end of it will be that cruise ship being dragged under the water by a giant tentacled monster demon thing. Nice. Yeah. So there's two versions that I'll be putting out this weekend. That's great. That's fun. Uh, Chris says, in 2016, I locally published on demand a book named Cats and Flowers. Since then, I've written another narrative about dragons, but I've had a time to draw the dragons. You know, college teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're very busy. But I look forward to that. I look forward to your Cats and Flowers book, too. That's a good thing. Chris says, I want to see how the cruise ends. Yeah. <laughs> Tina likes dragon. Oh, yeah. Dragons are great. Needs to be translated in English. Oh, that yeah, that'd be tough. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Chris is very good at uh, at, at uh, multiple languages. So nice. Yeah, that's what uh, she teaches. Right on. She's a she's a college professor corrupting young minds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's the opposite. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, exciting to see the different things that people are doing, and so I oh, yeah. the process yesterday in my stream to try to encourage people to do to do stuff like to to pursue their own exploration of story mm -hmm. and to pursue you know whatever the creative avenue that they have in their head is that they've wanted to you know to put down. Chris right. says you're ready to corrupt them. <laughs> oh, good, Chris. That's great. <laughs> well, cheers to that. Yeah, cheers to that. That's right. <laughs> my my daughter. We were in the car this morning. She said uh, she's um, she's twelve and she's sick of corporate mm -hmm. culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's great. <laughs> That's the, she should be capitalism. That's what she told me. Oh my gosh. That's the way she should be thinking. <laughs> yeah, I've raised all my kids to be uh you know in the system, but realizing the system's full of baloney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't uh, yeah, I don't know where she gets it, but she's a good at subversive already. So uh, I kinda got a feeling the more she gets that. <laughs> See that? Chris has developed the ability of bilingual brain and can operate in both languages easily. Yeah, that's awesome. And there's a weird thing about comic nerds is that we all grow up um, learning multiple languages in weird ways. Like you learn from reading about a German character in a book, all these German expressions or these Russian expressions and like... Um, and then uh, if you're going to do a fantasy book, you always end up writing like you're trying to come up with your own fantasy fantasy uh, language. Mm -hmm. Like Gary Hodges' uh, yeah. books, uh, which, again, another series I highly recommend. Um, but Gary Hodges' books are, uh, he has an entire alien language, an entirely Martian language in that book. <laughs> you know, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to his issue four because I've translated it, the substitution language, but I've translated what his language is. And so I can actually write him a letter back in his language, except for he hasn't provided about six, seven, eight letters right so far. So, or like that are left out of the English alphabet. <laughs> so as soon as I have those, because I can't write Gary yet because he hasn't given me a G yet. Uh, that's wild. Yeah. It's pretty, I can send you a copy if you want to read his books with the language attached to it, but I think he wants to do that himself. So, oh, I've got his books. No, but I mean, I've got the alien language, so you can translate it. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. By all means, I, I want. Yeah, I want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I can't believe you translated it. 
Yeah, I would never be able to translate it, but crazy. Sure Tina says, yeah, and the system gets crazier and crazier every day. Yeah, the Klingons, I think there's an actual language, a Klingon language. Yeah, you can actually speak Klingon. <laughs> I had a guy come up to me at a convention one time and come up to my table and he punches his fist on my pile of books and immediately gets the dad glare, like, you know. Mm -hmm. I, went, I don't know what you said to me in Klingon, but I'm going to take that as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts hitting his chest. And he and he walks away, and my friend goes, "What the heck was that?" I'm like, "You got to respond to Klingons with as much force as they respond as they they speak to you." And he goes, "Is that really a thing?" And I went, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you watch Star Wars, you know. Yeah. Star I mean, Trek. Star Trek. What am I talking about? Star Trek. I prefer Star Wars, anyways. Oh yeah. It was really funny though, because he, he the guy was like. You know, five five eleven, six feet, and he's in his Klingon outfit. Mm -hmm. He's got his little heels on to make him a, to even be that tall. Mm -hmm. And so he he punches my books like that, and he got these gloves with spikes on, right? So I'm like, <laughs> thinking he didn't hit the spikes on my books because then he'd buy them all. And, uh, so then I stood up from behind my table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and challenged. It changes the dynamic uh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I wave my arms like a, I wave my arms above my head and flip flop my spine, so I was like wacky waving arms and inflatable tube man. So that threatened me. <laughs> Chris has been teaching for twenty six years already and learned English in kindergarten. Nice. Wow. But have you learned Pig Latin? <laughs> There's a really ridiculous language that English kids will use called Pig Latin. And what it is, is uh, you take the first, you remove the first consonant, you add the first vowel back at the back of the word. Right. Or, or no, what is it? It's like, so it's cray. like X, it's, it's, it's cray. Yeah, it would be is cray. You split the uh, the vowels up. And so it, it lets it be right. the et's lay, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be semen run, wouldn't it? I I, I know I'm not an expert, but I think it would be. I would say unsemen ray. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I still call one of my cousins in his pig Latin name. <laughs> Tina says, "Oaj." <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's awesome. I'm, you know what I'm looking forward to, Paul, is seeing a copy of this book without the yeah. not for resale band around it. Right. How many? I mean, how many copies do you think you'll order off off the top for yourself just to have? I think, uh, oh, probably thirty or fifty. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, because I've got. Uh, a couple signings I have to do. Okay. And uh, we're trying to set up one at Chapters mm. here in London. So. Gotcha. That's if awesome. I get copies of this on the shelf at Chapters. I'm a happy monkey. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's Tina amazing. Is, Tina is fluent in Pig Latin. Do you want to hear something tragic? Um, yeah. They had discontinued Latin, teaching Latin in school, um, when uh, just before I was at the age to take it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, because I've always been a nerd, mm -hmm. I elected to uh, to take a uh, a mail course, a mail order course from the local university, and take Latin when I was in grade six. Wow! Because. Uh, I am a dork. <laughs> so, so you uh, <laughs> speak Latin. Well, speaking Latin and reading Latin are two completely. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Terry. <laughs> well, here's a page I just did recently, and uh, I'll show you. 
because somebody was like, what the heck does it say at the start of it? Yeah, this is a safe stop teaching cursive as well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, there it is, my field of red in my cover. What do you think? That. I think it looks good. So it's the river. It's kind of a, is the story story goes. That's true, Tina. But they're having to bring it back because kids don't know how to write their names. <laughs> Not even joking. They, they're bringing they're bringing cursive back in the schools here in, in Ontario. Really? Because we have a whole bunch of kids that can't even write their names. I really yeah. like, is there, is it, are you trying to stay consistent with the previous covers? Like, is there a way you yeah. can put red embossment around the particular Perez as well? Red embossment, what do you mean? So like a, like a stroke around it? I suppose I could. Okay, so you know how you have the black line around Turek mm -hmm. Detective Perez? Yeah. Can you, can you do a red one around that as well? I suppose I could. Right Try there. it on a different layer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I think it'll put um, a, a balance in the composition. Let me see what I get here. I'll make this about 30. Choose my red. I can't imagine sending a kid to American public school anymore. It's such a mess. I think it's just the Western world education education system in general, Terry. Well, I know you're not joking. It's sad. Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And uh, I've taught all my kids. No, no, not around your guy. Around the, the type at the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking, like, man, this is a good crazy idea but let me do it oh up here yeah i got gotcha. you because it like this yeah do you have to go around it with a pen or can you just stroke and boss it so it's all the same thickness i don't know what you mean by that well there's a pro there's a thing in uh photoshop there's a stroke function and what that does is that when you highlight something mm -hmm. it just uh goes around that something oh and puts a uh, a tracer line oh gotcha well i would want to do it i wouldn't want to do i don't want it to look i want it to look hand okay hand I, like what it's, I like how it looks right now that's cool but, yeah yeah i, I mean I, I i'll see what i think about this let yeah just, yeah let me do this real quick yeah i, I want to yeah, I definitely like looked at the after doing three covers, and I'm like, okay, let me take another look at the first two covers and see what I like about it. And I just feel like this would, uh, I think it matches better with that with this, you know. I think so. It kind of goes. No, I really like this. I really like this cover. Yeah, it's a lot more simple. That, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Well, doesn't that give you a sense of, of, of balance now with the red around the Detective Perez and the Autotropolis at the bottom? Yeah, 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 I see, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like it. Uh, there are serious reading comprehension problems at all systems, even at college. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. There's a, there's a TED Talk that people can check out from Sir Ken Robinson. Mm -hmm. Robert Robinson? Robertson. Um, and uh, four years lost. Yeah, brutal. It's absolutely brutal. I had one kid graduate college during COVID. Another one start college during COVID. Brutal. Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, Sir Ken Robinson. He passed away uh, during the, uh, the bang. And, uh, but what he was trying to promote was uh, more, a, a more uh, organic and er sort of style of education where we start to assess young people around 
11 or 12 and start to see, you know, those kids will start to define themselves in more clear ways about what their interests are and mm -hmm. what attitudinally they're oriented towards so that we don't force these kids that have no to continue, like we have the basic education parameters for everybody, but then those kids that are clearly not going to fall into the academic stream and are clearly vocational, like they do things with their hands, those kids should be able to go over into a vocational stream. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I don't know what the answer is. Like we had that set up here in London, eh? Yeah. We had an academic high school, a uh, technical high school, which is where I went to, which had, you know, an arts building and a, uh, a broadcasting building, mm -hmm. both of which, by the way, are gone now. And, uh, and uh, then we had a, uh, a vocational school, high school for mm -hmm. kids that you know, were, this is where they're focusing on getting into the, the labor pool so that they're learning trades and they're learning um like hair cutting and automotive and stuff yeah and then we had a remedial school for the kids that are like if we can just cover the basics with with these young people and and, and then give them some vocational app, mm -hmm. you know trade trade you know move them up to that uh yeah to trade school that'd be great and uh they can that system and our school system has suffered for it ever since mm. But because it's uh, they they, yeah. wanted, they wanted to make everything the same for everybody. Well, they wanted to open like a fancy art school for grade six kids, and they wanted to have a French immersion school. And it's like the the numbers for these do not warrant the impact you're making on the opportunities for these young people's lives. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks. Did it anyways. Thanks for the feedback, Tina. Um, yeah, since. Unfortunately, most kids today just want to be famous like a YouTube influencer without putting. <laughs> that's true. That's, ter that's terribly true. Is it? <laughs> I thought that there was an interesting conversation on the Artcaster show this week about uh, artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and the, you know, the impact it's and how do we, what do we do in order to, to try to keep the, uh, minimize the damage of it and it's like mm -hmm. i felt like i was a doom and gloomer because i'm like you know yeah. i used to be the production manager of a photo studio mm -hmm. where i oversaw 14 photographers going out each day and taking taking photos of real estate and photos of, of weddings and whatnot yeah and uh, and now everybody has uh cameras in their cell phones and wants to be TikTok famous so yeah you're not going to win against the oncoming technology folks yeah. The herd follows the easiest place to get the grass. <laughs> True words but, never been spoken. But for those that want to engage in something, engage in a pursuit and to learn and develop themselves, there's tons of opportunities and tons of uh, people that want to share that. Yeah. And if people don't, if you go to talk to somebody and say, I'm interested in doing this, and they look at you as a competition or they or they aren't very supportive of it mm -hmm. don't like that person anymore <laughs> right, right move on <laughs> yep yep uh yeah, definitely there's no reason to be um talking to people that don't want want you to succeed you know well one of the biggest blessings in the world that came about for this book mm -hmm. is that uh um i got jim shooter to give a quote on the back of my book i think i saw that the yeah. former head of marvel comics yeah i meant to ask you about that I'm like how'd you do that that's pretty awesome you want to see a picture with me and jim sure <clears throat> So Chris says, yes, I totally agree. These kids, they think they're untouchable as influencers. We had a very unfortunate case of an influencer almost killing a woman for minor traffic incident. He thought his Good money 
and influence would save him. Now he's facing 46 years in prison. That's a good he place to be. This is me and Jim Shooter. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And there's uh, Ramon uh, uh, Ramirez there. He's uh, did Trans Metropolitan. But Jim's 6'7. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of human right there. Yeah. But uh, he said, uh, when I get asked to be in films with people, they mm -hmm. always have me play the, the big guy, the muscle guy, or the, the scary guy. And mm -hmm. Jim said, I get the same. And I said, well, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'd like to be offered other things. And he goes, what are you talking about? You have a baby face. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, cool. That's fantastic. Yeah, so he did the the review for for the book. Yeah, that's great. So, do you mind what did it? What did he type? What did he uh, say in there? Uh, he said heterodox. Hold on, I'll pull it up. That should be it. There it is. Heterodox visual storytelling, mind blowing. It's a quote that people don't know what it means. Yeah, what is a hetero? I, I don't. What is okay. It? That's common though. Um, do you know uh, orthodox? Mm -hmm. Orthodox means you adhere to the rules, right? right? Okay, gotcha. Unorthodox means it sort of goes against the rules. Mm -hmm. And heterodox means uh, you're breaking the rules and making new ones. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> so. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, that's really nice film. So, yeah, that's pretty great. Chris says the case is viral here. None of his nine lawyers will take him out of jail. News have shown his written documents, terrible spelling mistakes, samples of uneducated influencers with money. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you know, you can't help stupid. I know that sounds terrible, Chris, but like. <laughs> Uh, MC Hammer had a really interesting interview. MC Hammer, by the way, drives bus in Detroit. He drives a bus? In Detroit. No way. Yes way. Um, so um, he had bad investments and he had, uh, you know, it's just so much, mm -hmm. you know, here's all these things and all these expenses and here's all this lifestyle. Yeah. As soon as you jump into that, you just spend all the money you make. Right. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. so he had this lesson, and that is, you know, be sensible with your money. Invest your money correctly and, uh, you know, allow yourself a future. So, I mean, he could be that guy who still, you know, jumps around at 60 going, too legit, too legit to quit. Hey, hey. And holds his back half the time while he's dancing. But, <laughs> but no, he's a real person. Mm -hmm. He's an absolutely real person, so he has no problem being a bus driver, and I think it's incredibly. Oh, even Terry says that bus driving's a decent trade. It's commendable. He stepped away from the craziness and uh, continued building a life for himself, and good for him, right? <clears throat> yeah, I was I, actually. <laughs> I was always a big fan of his. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's because it's too legit. Too legit to quit. It definitely is. <laughs> Did you see that, Paul? Uh, too legit. Oh yeah, right. Too, too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah, they used to do all that stuff. Uh, Chris says the laws feel like they're set up to protect the criminals. <laughs> I've always uh, had a terrible expression that. Uh, if anything untowards happens to any of my children, I got a big yard, a will, <laughs> preparedness to do time. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds terrible. But right. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. When my daughter was a teenager, this uh, older young man was uh, trying to get... Uh, her to date, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I, she snuck out of her, her, her of her uh, 
bedroom and out of the house at 6 30 in the morning to go and to hang out with him at a at a church nearby on the front steps mm -hmm. and uh as soon as i realized when since she in her room i just left the house looking for her <laughs> and, I, and i i expressed to him exactly what i just said <laughs> <laughs> I got a shovel in a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible dad. Oh, that's great. Terrible dad. But I can't imagine what it would be like now uh, for raising teenagers. I'm, you know, I, I really respect uh, anybody raising kids, teenagers, right. Right, with a sense of uh, reality in them because this whole social media thing is stupid. My daughter that's 20, she just sent me a picture of her and her, she's at college, you know, she yeah. sent me a picture of her and her friend um, the other day. They go to the same college that I went to. And I'm like, oh, this is great. You know, they look, they look beautiful. They look like they're having fun. And then I thought, wait a minute, they're at the same place I was. I know what was going on there. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sure it's not any different than it is now, you know. Where, where'd you go to college, Paul? At Michigan State University. Oh, good one. Did you enjoy it? Was it a good experience? Uh, you know, it was it was good. Yeah. Did it yeah, prepare you for your life? What's that? Did it prepare you for the life you lead now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was good education. It, the the um, the education wasn't the, the academic part of it it was you know um <clears throat> like one of the things that one of the things that really was striking to me was um i didn't know any rich people growing up and i went to college and i got to meet rich people you know kids that had rich fan parents i you know i didn't necessarily connect with them all that well but it it was an education so you know that kind of thing yeah um yeah it was good. It took me a long time to finish. I should be a doctor or a lawyer, but I'm not. <laughs> Everybody takes things in their own time. Yeah. Uh, Tina says, uh, too legit, too legit to quit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, Lori and I were uh, out last month buying a birthday present for our youngest daughter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so we're a blended family. I have three uh, from my previous marriage, and Lori had two. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we have five. We've been together uh, in 14 years. And so it was really cute because the, we're picking these up. All right, do you really love these scents? She says, and another, we're picking these up for our daughter. Oh, that's nice. How old is she? And Lori did this. She goes, she's turning 27. <laughs> 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 in real time you could see her go oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a reality hit this year when I was a kid I thought I found out my mother's name and age because I was just raised with my mom and I found out her name and age when she was 32 and so as a kid I had this resolute idea that when you're 32 you're a grown up I mean she'd been my mother for probably you know, 10 years, nine, I don't think I was like nine years old at the time. Right. So it's not like you're a grown up now, but my point is, yeah, I found her age when she was 32. And so when I turned 32, I was like, oh, God, I'm an adult now. Right. Yeah. This is a, yeah. Isn't that interesting? That's, I think I had a similar experience. Yeah. And I, 32 for me was the age. And I remember thinking, okay, for me, it was at 32, I was, in my prime i was my the best version of myself you know physically and mentally and everything you know so oh, well my daughter turned 30 i don't know if this is true yeah i don't think this is true it's just you know something that sort of I, you know like you know it's just an idea that lingers with you or something you sure know? sure but when my daughter turned 32 this year it was like well what does that make me now <laughs> right right I never went to college. Chris. College is not mandatory. Nowadays, we're facing jobs being taken by artificial intelligence. The generation 
I have in college now will face a totally different job market for five years. Oh yeah, yeah. I I never uh, I never went to college. I did high school. And uh, well, my my thing is this: I think education is important. That's not necessarily college. You yeah. know, like to me, education is a curiosity and like you're never done learning. Um, I think if you think you know something, you're not you're not open to education, you know, like this openness that, you know, there's more information to be had. You know, to me, that's where where we need help, <laughs> in my opinion. So now, for some people that might be college. I went to college and the academics were not were not necessary. I mean, there was some of it I enjoyed, you know, and learned quite a lot. But also just the environment and the, um, you know, just the introduction to culture and, and life um, that I got at college was real, real educational. <laughs> Miriam just said I'm a double adult now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you are now that you're... <laughs> Yeah, double the 32. Hi, buddy. Okay. So this is, uh, this is uh, Sir Ken Robinson. His TED Talk is exactly mm. what we're speaking about. Mm. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm self-taught on what I do. And, mm -hmm. and despite that, you know, I've gone and lectured at schools from grade three to, you know, post-university business school. and Yeah. In, you know, in, in different you know, adult groups, but um, it's, yeah, that's Corbett in the background, Chris. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think that uh, we can educate ourselves vastly. Yeah. In ways I mean, it's just never over, you know, it, or, you know, I think it would be great if it was never over, you know, like learning how to do, you know, I'm improving in my like I'm, I'm looking at the job that I have during the day. I learn, 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 learn every day. I mean, it's it's crazy. My at the end, I'm just like, oh. But then my hobby here with um, these graphic novels is a lear always a learning experience. You know, yeah. trying to trying to improve and get better. And uh, so I just don't think you know if you go into life with this idea that you know something. <laughs> Um, and that's it, you know, that's, that's not helpful. <laughs> Carl Sagan said that whatever we, what, uh, whatever the depth that we perceive, we know and we understand the universe is just a drop in the bucket for what's really out there. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'm going to run away. Oh, hi, Didi. Sorry, Didi. I'm running away just as you're coming in. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll do a, a thing later today where I'll talk about this. Yeah, well, hey, Christopher, thank you for coming on and sharing that with us. I can't wait to see it uh, and, you know, hold it in my hands. And um, and uh, thanks for, you know, just chatting today. It was really great catching up, you know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, I, people ordered these books. <laughs> I think, so I did, this is the fourth version right here, but I think I got one here. That? Version, yeah, like, I love it. I really like that. It's a strong cover. Thank you. Um, Dee Dee says that she did you see what she said? She said, Had two teens by 32. I was a mom at 15, went back to school and college, taught myself almost everything I know about art. Yeah, excellent. Well, Good for you, and Dee. clearly, I mean, like, Dee Dee, you're a big reader, you're always, you know, I think anybody that's an artist is always trying to learn and grow as a person so that you're exactly what i'm talking about so <laughs> excellent uh, oh yeah definitely definitely yeah yeah anyway. diddy, uh, diddy is really uh good really fantastic for encouraging others to develop their own expression so well yeah that too yeah, yeah. diddy uh diddy's a nerd <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love to say that Nerd yeah, to this compliment, compliment for sure. Yeah. Okay, I gotta run away. Thanks yeah, for having yeah, me. Thanks, Christopher. Thank it's good to talk to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up, so I'll I'll talk to you later.
All right, my friend. I'll uh, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's ch let's chat soon. I, I got uh, yeah uh, some stuff I want to chat with you about and other th uh, unrelated. Yep. Sounds great. Right. Bye, everybody. Yep. Thanks for having me. Yep. Bye, Christopher. All right. That was awesome. Uh, and while we were chatting, I think I got this cover done. I'm gonna let it sit here for a few days and work on some of the other inside stuff that I need to do. Um, uh, yeah, and then um, I got my old computers out and uh, tried to tried to um, I gotta you know put this book together and send it off so. It's kind of the, some tedious stuff that I don't want to do. And I, I can't keep up with the chat here. You guys are lively today. Uh, Didi says, hashtag nerds rule. I'll second that. And uh, Tori says, thank you so much. Love the colorful, wonderful stream. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Um, Tina, good to see you again. Um and everybody else, great having you, or great chatting with you, and uh, appreciate everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Later.